On Tuesday, we looked at the development of a cube. Okay, so usually when you're given a question, you're given a 3D object. Okay, and you're given the measurements of the object. We looked at that there was six faces or six sides on a cube. The six sides are known as faces. We figured out that there was a front, a back, there's two sides, a left and a right, and a top and a bottom. A development is where you open out that 3D shape into 2D. And you account for all six sides and they should all be attached to the drawing. We looked at the bottom being the most important part because if you open out a box, the thing that stands out in the middle is the bottom. So attached to the bottom is the back of it and the front of it. The two sides would have been standing upright when you open them out flat. They appear left and right. And finally, the top of it, we looked that it could go in any individual position. But it depended on where you had space in your page. You looking at my drawing, you definitely don't have enough space up there. You might have had enough space there, but just because we had so much space in our page on the right hand side, we put it there. It doesn't matter if you put it in position one, two, three or four. We also looked at a thing called fold lines and fold lines is where you fold the paper when you have a cut. So imagine I cut this all out. You fold it on these lines to create that cube shape. We looked at on Tuesday that fold lines appear as long lines, too short, a long, too short, long. It doesn't have any particular measurement, just as long as there's a long line, a bit of a space, two little short lines with gaps in between them, and then you repeat long, too short, long, okay, to fill the space. So any line that needs to be folded needs to be shown with fold lines. When it comes to actually doing your development, it is really good practice to do a little sketch of what your development would look like. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't need a ruler. All you're doing is with a pencil. So we always start with the bottom, B for bottom. Uh, we know that the sides are attached to the bottom, as is the back, B-A-C-K, and the front. We looked at in the previous uh, sheet or example that the top could be attached to any of those four, but it just depends on where you have space in your sheet. And I'm just going to put it where I did the last day. Okay, so that's my basic sketch. So we're going to do the development of a cube that has an edge length of 50. That means this distance is 50 and 50 and 50 and 50. 50, 50, 50, and 50 is 200 in length. So you start off with a construction line and we're gonna make 200 millimeters, which is 20 centimeters in length. That's the important thing. We're now gonna divide it up into our 50s, 50 and 50 and 50. Because it's a cube, everything has an edge length of 50. This is 50 here. This is 50 there, and that's 50. So the first thing I'm gonna do is with these constructions that I've done, I'm gonna do vertical lines, light ones. Doesn't matter their length at all. When you have that done, we're gonna replicate this. So I have this line drawn. I now need the vertical line 50 and then this vertical line, 50, 50, and 50, that's 150. So we'll do that next, maybe. That will be the easiest thing to do. Mine is going to intersect a little bit with the um, text up on top. Yours shouldn't really, so we won't worry about that. Okay, and at each of those horizontal lines, or at those points one two three I'm going to do horizontal okay so at this stage you should be able to see my grid I have the bottom I have the sides I have the back the front and the top 
you can see it there but I need to now put in what needs to be heavy and what needs to be light and we figured out in the last uh, day on Tuesday that the outside of this is heavy do all the horizontal lines that need to be heavy in first When you have those done, then you can do the vertical lines that need to be in heavy. And at the same time, we can do the fold lines. So the outside has to be heavy. Then fold line, long, too short, long, too short, long. Same over here, heavy, long, too short, long, too short, long. long too short long too short long and finally the outside line is a heavy line you will notice that i'm missing two fold lines here and i can pop them in now as well so long too short long too short long so basically this is the finished development in order to fully complete it i asked you the last day to make sure you bring a scissors today so that you can cut around the outside. So all the heavy lines are cut and all the inside lines are folded. Okay, so I'm just gonna start that now. And I'm just gonna pause. So when you have it all cut out, okay, like I have done here, and making sure you with the scissors that you cut full straight lines like that as opposed to going jaggedy and not having a crisp line so when you cut the line just make sure you're following through cutting the entire line at the one time as opposed to doing bits and pieces of it when you are done you should be left with this okay so this is the development if i fold on these fold lines okay i should get my cube so just be as careful as you can folding on those. As accurate as you can. Okay, making sure you fold all of them. So when you have them all folded, you can fold them all up together. I'm just gonna do this one one last time. And you can get your cube. Okay, so that is the development of a cube. We are now gonna look at different questions. Okay, and I'll have them uploaded on Teams. So this is your first question. It's a cube that has an edge length of 50. What you're gonna do is do a little sketch of it first before you start that you've accounted for all of the sides knowing what they are you're then going to draw it out accurately having heavy lines for your cut lines and long too short for your fold lines label them if you need to you might not need to cut it out accurately and fold on the lines and you'll get your shape if you want to you can add a little bit of tape to each of the edges so the the shape the 3d shape will stay true to itself and obviously the thicker the card the easier that it will be to stay as a the 3d shape when it's just paper it's it doesn't have the same consistency or strength and that's where you might have issues